Hey guys, it's Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com. This is your market recap for October 24th, 2013. Uh, kind of a slow day to actually, to be honest. Um, we saw some activity earlier on unusual option activity, um, but a slower day. We had earnings from Triple N, not much movement there. Um, so let's look at a, the S&P 500 on the daily chart. Today, an inside day, we did make a higher high on the daily and a higher low, which is bullish. We still have to get through the 1754 half level, which is important. If we bring up the 15 minute chart here, um, kind of a choppy day. You know, when I woke up at 6 a.m., uh, futures were up seven, then we were reversed. We were actually down in the day. So we have initial support here, which is today's low at 1740. Couple stocks with earnings after the bell, Microsoft off to the races, uh, traded as high as 36.21, it says right here, 35.50 trading right now. Microsoft, positive results, stock getting a boost, this has gotten beaten down. If you look at on the daily chart, it actually looks pretty strong. You know, we have the, on the daily chart, it's trading above the Ichimoku cloud, um, you know, bullish to neutral here. Can get up to that 36.43 level, um, but above the cloud with huge support here at 33.60. Nice lift in Microsoft. Amazon, earnings after the bell. I bought a call butterfly on the measured move target. I bought the 345 calls. I sold two of the 355 calls to buy the 365 calls. I will make money in Amazon between 346 and 364. Looks good so far, but no trade is a winner or loser till it's closed. One unusual option activity trade I want to talk about is QTWW. Off to the races here in QTWW. What they do is they make the tanks for natural gas. As I say, anything that's unusual option activity, chart looks good. Look at this chart. It was 46 cents, 47 cents here in July. Okay. Off to the races, over six bucks today in QTWW, big buyer of calls today. I jumped on board. One more with earnings tomorrow is Procter & Gamble. I got long some Procter & Gamble weekly call spreads. I bought the 82s. If it breaks through 82, it's got some room to run on the upside. So I bought the 82s to sell the 83s, a bull call spread, risking $23 to potentially make $73. I thought it was good risk versus reward setup in PNG. This is Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com. Make sure you guys sign up for our Unusual Option Activity Workshop on the 29th. We have limited spots. You can email support at KeenOnTheMarket or give us a phone a call whenever you guys want. If you have questions about Trade Alert or uh, the Trading Room or any courses, 312-261-5581. Thanks, guys, and we're on it back tomorrow.